Welcome back to Vikings Huddle. I'm here at the state capitol, but let's head downtown to the Science Museum of Minnesota with David Morgan for this week's Skoll Science Lesson. Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Science Museum of Minnesota. Uh, my name is James, and I am pleased to welcome you to our show, Ball Game Physics. And please welcome our very special guest, Minnesota Viking, David Morgan. Give him a big round of applause. Woo, all right. Thank you so much, David, for joining us. Uh, today we're going to be doing a show called Ball Game Physics, and we're going to be learning about science and sports. How many people here in the audience like science? Raise your hands. How many people here in the audience like sports? Raise your other hand. That's a lot of hands in the air. Awesome. Yeah, we could do the wave if we really wanted to. Yeah. Um, the really fun thing about, actually, what sorts of sports do you guys like to play? David, what sorts of sports do you like to play? I play football a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Not much. Is, that, is that your favorite sport? Is that your number one sport? I would say so, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah cool, I would cool, have cool. to, yeah. Awesome, yeah, yeah. Um, any other sports fans out there, what sorts of sports do you guys like to play? Shout them out. Baseball. Baseball. Basketball. 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 Volleyball. Yeah, yeah. These sports. Soccer! Yeah, yeah, yeah. These sports are really fun to play. But the really cool thing about sports is that they are also actually impacted by the principles of physics. And the athlete who knows these principles can help, really help impact their performance. David, what I want you to do is I want you to stand about right here. Awesome. And uh, in about three seconds, I'm going to... Uh, your tight end, right? Tight yeah, end. so you catch the ball. So this should be no problem for you because I'm gonna ask you to catch this tiny little mini football um, in uh, about three seconds, okay? You guys ready? Are you ready? Here we go. And one, two, three, and catch it. Yeah, let's try, let's try this again. One, two, three, and catch it. All right, let's try this again. One, two, three, and catch Okay, well, why isn't this ball going anywhere, David? You gotta hit it. I gotta hit, I gotta do something to make it move, right? Yeah, we're gonna have to apply some force. Can everybody say that with me? Force, that's right. So we're gonna kick this over to you. Here we go, and three, two, and very nice. Yeah, do it. Thank you, yeah, give, give me a big round of applause for catching it, but do I get the job? Can I be the kicker now? Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Now there is another principle of physics at work uh, that explains why that ball was sitting in one place and that's called inertia. Can everybody say that with me? Say inertia, yeah. The law of inertia states that an object at rest will stay at rest until a force acts to move it. So right now, uh, inertia will be keeping this ball in one place. Now, I overcome this ball's inertia by hitting the ball with a bat like so. Now, I could hit the ball even further if I swing the bat, of course, with more speed. Increasing the amount of speed at which I swing the bat increases the amount of energy that's transferred from the bat to the ball. Now I can hit the ball even further if I increase the amount of mass inside my bat. I've been hitting the ball with a hollow bat. We got a sand fill bat right here. All right, let's see how this goes. All right, not too bad. Dave, you want to give this one a try? Oh yeah. All right. There you go. That's heavy. It's pretty heavy, right? Yeah. There. Oh, look at that. Very nice. Now there is one more thing that we can do to help us hit the ball even further, and that is increasing the length of our bat. Um, hitting the ball with a longer bat is going to go further because it does take a lot more force to swing this longer bat all the way around than it does to swing this tiny, cute little bat. And uh, physics aside, wouldn't it look just ridiculous for any of our Minnesota twins to walk up to the plate with a bat? What? I think that's a great idea, just for fun. Just for fun, give it a whirl. Let's see it, let's see it, dude. Oh, wow, that's, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. All right, so we have just, uh, we've, we've talked about a number of different uh, principles of physics today. Repeat them after me, everybody say force. Force. Inertia. Inertia. Mass. Mass. Speed. Speed. Length. Length. So the next time you're playing baseball or t-ball or softball or hockey or football or whatever the sport is, remember these principles of physics and they can help you improve your performance. Ladies and gentlemen, give yourselves a big round of applause. Give David Morgan a big round of applause. Thank you so much for joining us for Ball Game Physics. Have a great rest of your day at the Science Museum of Minnesota. Bye-bye, everybody.